dear friends welcome to the digital platform of e content provided by msbte that is maharashtra state board of technical education the program concerned is civil engineering the course concerned is environmental studies with course code 22447 Today's topic of discussion is on unit three, that is ecosystem and biodiversity. The concerned course outcome is conserve ecosystem and biodiversity. The related learning outcome desired from this study is state the aspects and division of ecosystem. It's me, friends. Mr. Anand Puljele, lecturer, Government Polytechnic, Nagpur. What we will learn today: the agenda points are given as definition of ecosystem, aspects of ecosystem, and divisions of ecosystem. To start with, we should we shall first have a look at the concept map. It shows. the aspects of ecosystems as structural aspect and functional aspect we shall later study the definition of ecosystem the living community of plants and animals in any area together with the non living components of the environment such as soil air and water constitute the ecosystem ag tensley in 1935 first defined the ecosystem as the system resulting from the integrations of all the living and non living actors of the environment thus he regarded the ecosystem as including not only the organism complex but also the whole complex of physical factors forming the environment now we shall study the aspects of ecosystem in detail the ecosystem can be defined as any spatial or organizational unit including living living organisms and non living substances interacting to produce an exchange of materials between the living and non living parts the ecosystem can be studied from either structural or functional aspects as i have earlier told in the concept map the aspects of an ecosystem consist of two parts one is structural aspect and second one is the functional aspect the structural aspect of ecosystem consist of two components first one is abiotic components and second one is biotic components abiotic components consist of environmental factors or climatic regimes it consist of three components first component is physical is related to physical factors like light temperature moisture topography of a given ecosystem second component is organic component which comprises of proteins carbohydrates lipids which link abiotic to biotic aspects the third component is regarding inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide nitrogen water and carbon the second component is biotic component which mainly comprises of different kinds of organisms it can be divided into three components first one is producers the example can be given as plants plants prepare their own food with the help of sunlight through the process of photosynthesis consumers consist of all kinds of animals 
decomposes decomposers are microorganisms which consume the dead bodies of plants and animals having seen the the aspects of ecosystem now we will go for studying the functions of ecosystem this diagram enumerates the different functions of ecosystem as energy cycles food chains diversity nutrient cycles and evolution now we can have a detailed discussion over these functions first functional aspect is energy cycles the energy cycle is based on the flow of energy through the ecosystem energy from sunlight is converted by plants themselves into growing new plant material which includes leaves flowers fruits branches trunks and roots of plants during photosynthesis carbon dioxide is taken up by plants and oxygen is released animals depend depend on this oxygen for their respiration second functional functional aspect is regarding food chains plants can grow by converting the sun's energy directly into their tissues they are known as producers in the ecosystem the plants are used by herbivorous animals as food which gives which gives them energy the carnivores in turn depend on herbivorous animals on which they feed thus the different plant and animal species are linked to one another through food chains each food chain has three or four links in the diagram you may study one of the food chains the plants are eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten up by frog frog is consumed by snake snake becomes the prey for the vultures and after death the dead body of the vultures are consumed by the microorganisms which then provide the essential nutrients for the growth of the plants the functional aspect number 3 is regarding diversity which gives the interlinkages between organisms the different plant and animal species are linked to one another through food chains each food chain has three or four links however as each plant or animal can be linked to se several other plant or animals through many different linkages these interlinked chains can be depicted as a complex food web this is thus called the web of life that shows that there are thousands of interrelationship in nature this you can observe in the picture which has been shown over here the fourth new functional aspect is regarding nutrient cycles which are also known as bio geochemical cycles the bio geochemical cycles are pathways of transport and transformation of nutrient these consist of two types first one is gaseous cycles the example can be given as carbon cycle nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle etc the second one is sedimentary cycle the example is phosphorus cycle and sulfur cycle carbon is released from ecosystem as carbon dioxide gas by the process of respiration this co2 gas is used by plants to prepare carbohydrates which is used by animals as food animals and plants again release co2 through respiration the fifth functional aspect is regarding evolution ecological succession is a process through which ecosystems tend to change 
over a period of time. If a forest is cleared, it is initially colonized by a certain group of species of plants and animals which gradually change through an orderly process of community development. One can predict that an open up area will gradually be converted into a grassland, from grassland to a shrubland and finally to a woodland and into a forest. Evolution of man from monkeys is well known. Example of ecological succession. Next topic of discussion is division of ecosystem. The ecosystem can be divided from the energetic viewpoint into three types of organisms that is producers, consumers and reducers. These can be explained as under. First producer, the photosynthetic algae, plants and bacteria are the producers of the ecosystem. All other organisms depend upon their them directly or indirectly for their food. Second, consumers. Consumers are herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous animals. They eat the organic matter produced by other organisms. Reducers are heterotrophic organisms like animals. They are fungi and bacterial bacteria that decompose dead organic matter. So, after the end of this discussion, we have studied the definition of ecosystem, the aspect of ecosystem as structural aspects and functional aspects and towards the end we have studied the divisions of ecosystem as producers, consumers and reducers. These are few references of standard books which you can refer for your further studies. Thank you all. Have a nice day.